Well, service dogs play a huge role in the lives of their owners, helping them conquer physical, sensory, and psychiatric disabilities. At the upcoming Rough Ruck Challenge, the focus is on dogs for our military veterans. Yeah, great, great, great cause. The need of service dogs for vets, it's huge. And in October, you can help that connection as every step you take brings a veteran closer to their service dog. Tony is the co-founder of the Rough Ruck Challenge. Jesse Wilds along with him. Hi, guys. How are you today? Hi there. <laughs> Glad to be back. Yeah, well, for those who don't know what a Rough Ruck is, I mean, people have heard of 5Ks. You've heard of these, these types of walks. Mm -hmm. But the Rough Ruck has something a little extra pretty much on your back. Yeah, so uh, it's embracing rucking, which is kind of sweeping the nation, I guess. It gets a little bit more popular every year, but um, it's funny, I was just, I was, I used to walk every day, and I was just one of those things where you count your steps, and I was like, man, this is getting easier. I don't want to do this for three hours a day. <laughs> and I just happened to be looking, uh, listening to a book called The uh, Comfort Crisis. They have this whole segment on rucking, and uh, I was in the Navy, so um, just kind of coincided. Next thing you know, I had a backpack on, and. Uh, uh, fast forward to uh, one one night, my wife tells me, she says, hey, our employee, uh, uh, Josiah, his dog swallowed a bounty ball last night. And uh, I was like, oh, man, uh, what are we going to do? She said, yeah, the, the vet would not touch the dog unless they had $4,000. And I was like, man, what what can we do? Uh, that 4000 is a lot of money. And uh, the next day I got up, started a Facebook uh, donation. Uh, page. I went live, threw a ruck on, and Josiah's a Marine, and I just said, hey, I'm not stopping until I raise all that money. Uh, I got 26 miles till my, uh, my legs gave out. I had a 40-pound ruck on, and my wife picked me up. It took her, I think, 40 minutes to drive to get me. I was that far oh, out. Oh, my goodness. And 22 hours later, we raised all the money. Oh, my goodness. So and that was the inspiration, yeah. and I yeah. thought, you know what? I could do this at scale, and the dog portion of it, it just made sense, something clicked, mm -hmm. and last year was our first one, we raised $32,000 uh, our first year. That's so. what I was going to ask. That, that is amazing. amazing. Yeah. That, and so all of this money raised goes to getting veterans service dogs. Yeah, so yeah. it goes to West Michigan Canine Foundation, um, and what we do is we're out of West Hall of Michigan. Uh, Stephen Parent started that group, and basically what it is is we uh, find service dogs, and we raise them, we get them, we purchase them from breeders, and then we we put them into foster care, um, and during that foster care, they're doing socialization. Um, all of the vet bills are covered. All of their toys, all of their treats, all of their food. Um, so the vol or the foster families are volunteers, and then what happens is they. Um, uh, put them into our four-week intense training, and then they start taking applications for veterans. And then based on the veteran's needs and the dog's capabilities, that's how we choose whether or not they're able to um, combine. And then we'll do one-on-one -on -one training with the dog and the veteran. But yeah. Obviously a great cause. Yeah. Like, yeah. Obviously something that would be easy to get behind. Yeah. For sure. And, and this is a way we can do it. I, I'm so happy that the first year was so mm -hmm. successful. $32,000, yeah. how can people get involved this year? Why, do I have to have a ruck? Can I, can, <laughs> do, do I have to Don't put on the, the pack on my back? So oh, we, on. we have two options. <laughs> uh, the rucking is for, uh, what the rough ruck is, the challenge part of it, mm -hmm. is it mimics the Army Ranger qualifier, which is a 12 mile ruck with a 35 pound uh, uh, weighted backpack. Mm -hmm. And you can use a vest, we do allow that. Um, and you have to do it in three hours or less. Mm -hmm. Now, that's the that's for the, the challenge portion of it. We did have a very profound amount of people that just wanted to participate, yep. and they were just going through for their own personal records. So the fun uh, rock. Is the what, fun yeah. rock. Mm -hmm. right. So yeah. we have a, a page that you can go to. You can find us on Facebook. We also have a donation page where you can set up um, a fundraising page of your own. So if you're one of those people that wants to rock and say, I'm going to do, it's three, oh, the challenge is three hours, 12 miles, 35 pound rock. Mm -hmm. um, you're weighed in when you start. You're weighed in when you end. Um, you want to <laughs> complete it within. <laughs> yep, we start at I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah. losing the rock on your way. Yeah, yeah. so we, we, start, um, we start at Wonderland in Norton Shores. They've been great working with us the second year. And then we go um, on the bike path to North Muskegon and then go back. And so um, we usually start the real the real ruckers or the ruckers, uh, challenge ruckers will be at noon. And then about 10 minutes later, we'll start the fun run. Um, and that's just a personal best. Uh, we have 
uh, silent auction, I believe mm -hmm. that's going on during the event too, and there's things to do inside of Wonderland, so those people that just want to cheer them on can still be active and still do it. We'll have merch, um, but yeah, you can start a page where you can uh, request people to uh, you know, donate to mile. your thing or whatever your yeah. goal is. Um, and each level, so there's levels, and each level is like $3,000 pays for a dog, right? The training is another 12 grand. So $15,000 will get you a puppy, the naming rights, a dog, and then you'll actually be able to be there to um, uh, like gift the dog no. to the veteran during that, that what moment. A moment. Yeah. And so um, businesses are more than welcome to help out. We're always looking for sponsors, more logos on the shirt. The better um and then um yeah we're just just trying to do the best we can and yeah. cool story uh she was unable to come today her basement flooded last night so did mine actually too <laughs> but she got hit hard shannon mcdonald yeah. she was supposed to be on with us today but she had to deal with her basement she actually participated last year she reached out to me and she said hey i would like more information i'd like to participate in this she lost her husband the year prior mm -hmm. to, to suicide he was a marine and they are a very big dog family. And her goal was to raise the $3,000 for a dog. Yep. Once she did that, she set another goal <laughs> and she ended up raising enough money for two dogs oh last my year. Gosh. Yeah. So she raised money for two dogs. Okay. And because she, she was able to do that, she got naming rights to both those dogs. Mm -hmm. her, uh, her husband's name was Patrick. So one of them was named uh, Patriot, <laughs> so Pat for short, mm -hmm. yep. and the other one is Sloan, so, and Sloan, yeah. that's, his favorite actor was Sly Stallone. Oh, so. Oh my yeah. so you yeah. you can really put a lot of meaning into those naming rights. Yeah. Of course, but of course, the, the main meaning, of course, is the help that that service dog gives that veteran. It really does provide a lot of help. So we encourage Absolutely. you to take part in the Rough Ruck Challenge, whether you're wearing a ruck or not, <laughs> right? Yeah. It, it's only near a distilling company, so I'm just saying. <laughs> so you can go and cheer them on and hang out at Wonderland. Have a you go and just like, donate. Just there you yeah. go. <laughs> $25 in advance, $35 a day. If you can go to Facebook for more. Thanks again. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you guys.